Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade. Today we're going to be taking a look at a wave pattern to the downside here on the Dow. Let me get my targets all placed out here. Uh, second target goes at 17.703. Final target goes to 17.690. So we're looking at this wave pattern short. This morning we started with a little bit of a range on the day, and that range has since broken out, and it's broken out quite aggressively. So that aggressive breakdown that we've been seeing so far, I'm looking to follow that up. Up with continued selling pressure back to the lows and now we have a wave pattern setting up in the absolute perfect spot for us to do that so we have a one two three reversal entry short at 17 726 first target down at 714 it's not a huge first target the wave pattern isn't that big uh, but 12 tick first target then we're looking for more follow through down to the next target here at 703 that's going to be 23 ticks and then the final objective down to the overall final target lows at 690 and that's going to put 36 more ticks on the trade. Now, the reason I'm looking for that final extended target a little bit farther down is we're seeing a reason to do so. This is a breakout type mentality, and breakouts usually mean that price goes pretty darn quick. So I'm looking for a breakdown to 703, which is normally where we would kind of consider taking everything off, but I'm looking at that area in more of kind of an intermediary. We can take some profit here, but I am expecting it to continue farther down so looking for 17690 after that we got the first target filled already looking for a little more follow through to 703 and then after that down to 7690 so far nice downtrend just looking for a little more follow through all right sellers pushing back down the lows again coming a couple ticks away from our target here and then we got that one filled too so looking for this final push down our stop is at break even plus one so we're not risking anything we've got you know only profitability possible locked on the table here uh, just looking for a little bit more follow through for that last push down to around the 690 area this area around 17700 has a couple different things happening uh, not only is it sort of a large number in the fact that it's 700 those big round numbers like that can sometimes prop the market up, but it's also an area that a lot of buyers just like us are going to be taking profit. So I it wouldn't surprise me at all to see a bounce a little bit right here, uh, but overall I am definitely anticipating a push farther down to seven uh, that 17,687 area. We're front running by a little bit, but I would it wouldn't be a, sh a shock at all to see price really bounce there. I think a lot of people are sort of looking at this in the same way. Yeah, they can take some small profits here, but they're looking for the bigger run down uh, towards that 87 area. So it definitely feels like we're on the same book with a lot of other traders in this one. Uh, so still short, looking for that. That final push down first and second targets filled we're edging in on our final target here down to 690 uh, we just need a little bit more from the sellers you can tell anytime that they try to turn higher it's immediately swatted back down you can really see that with this attempted reversal here they get the one reversal bar up and then immediately slap down and this time they just tried to go up they got a wick on the high and then slap down again so you can definitely feel how heavy this is right now it seems like that's kind of across the board crude oil has been tanking all morning uh the s p obviously since the dow is everything's just been kind of falling apart and there we get our final target so that's a beautiful example of a wave pattern down a strong breakout of the initial morning range and continuation that continuation tells us to hop right along with that freight train and ride that thing lower so overall we took 12, 23, and 36. Now, if you're not super familiar with the way that the Dow trades, it's $5 a tick. So $830 that we got on the trade equates to 166 ticks. So beautiful move down. If you have any questions about it, feel free to shoot an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.